I think what tracks me to being a professional cuddler is that I feel a lot of what other people feel, so it actually comforts me to comfort other people. Hi, I'm Saskia Larson, and I'm a professional cuddler. I've been a professional cuddler for about three years now. So when I introduce what I do to people, and I'll say professional cuddler, or I'll say touch practitioner, or I'll say therapeutic touch practitioner, nobody really knows what that is. Uh, the word cuddling, professional cuddling, that phrase kind of goes, what? You know, it's a little, how is that possible? But I do think human beings are continuing to evolve and become more open and understanding about what basic human needs are. And touch is a basic human need. So in, in addition to social health benefits, there's also emotional and physical health benefits. I think just overall, um, my clients feel better. A large part of emotional and mental health is getting enough touch in your life. Emotionally, they feel better. Their anxiety goes way down. I believe in all types of therapy. I believe in um, pharmacological efforts. I believe in talk therapy, touch therapy. Anything that helps you, anything that's a resource, I think should be explored. Cuddle is definitely one of the resources. One of the reasons that I wanted to start this company is that when you're feeling incredibly disconnected, are incredibly lonely. To have that kind of connection can spark sort of a change of consciousness, which can allow real healing to happen. So I firmly believe that we're here on Earth for human connection. A lot of us have a hard time making connections. And so just like I can drop down in meditation and sort of get to a different place, by being physically present with someone else, it's the quickest way to feel, to get more in touch with yourself. Our intention is to be radically accepting of another person and to bring our full presence there. So what we do and what we find is that you go from a stranger to not a stranger incredibly quickly. If you are a person who thinks maybe I should try, you know, therapeutic touch and cuddle sessions and you think about what's going on in my life, it could be that you just feel like something is still missing and you're not sure what it is. It may or may not be that you need more touch, but it might be. Cuddle therapy, you're dealing with two people who have already talked on the phone, already given a background on each other, gotten to know each other a little bit. Both are agreeing to hold each other in some way, um, and both are agreeing to be vulnerable and in a safe space. So to bond in that environment is really much easier than anyone could ever imagine.